All right, welcome back with another music video editing tutorial with Premiere Pro. This time we will be looking at Iggy Azalea's new music video named Start It. There's a transition that looks pretty interesting and um, we will uh, recreate this with Premiere Pro. It's actually, as you can see, pretty simple. Just a couple of rectangular shapes uh, popping up randomly and um, transition to the next scene. At first, you might be tempted to use masks, but since we want to maybe use this transition on other clips, um, um, we're going to follow another approach. So let's go right in. And here's my raw footage and these clips on top of each other. So um, what we will be doing is actually creating a luma mat and use the track track mat effect to um, to actually um, transition these things. Let me show you what I mean. So here um, we have the Essential Graphics panel. If you don't see this Essential Graphics panel, go to Windows, Window and <laughs> Essential Graphics. Click on this icon and uh, create a new rectangle. With holding the Control key, just um, use reposition the anchor point right to the middle and then reposition that. And then here, um, um, scale it, unlock the uniform scale and then just scale it so it covers the whole uh, the whole canvas actually and then um, with the mouse um, just drag it over so it looks a little bit like in the video this is actually our first shape and the thing is um, we will be starting right here so we don't have to time this um, later we will just go in and animate a couple of values from these uh, single shapes let's create the second one so i did go through the video uh, frame by frame and um, around 10 frames into the transition hold down the shift the shift key and press the right arrow button twice so that's uh, 10 frames and here we're gonna just duplicate this shape and while we're here just um, rename this to and the other one to mat two. And this one we wanna bring over right to this position, make it a little smaller like this. And at this point in time, it should just, it should just pop in. And for that, we will be animating the opacity of um, of shape mat two. So in the effect controls, um, hit the stopwatch to create a keyframe, and all these keyframes should should not animate. Should not there's there shouldn't be an interpolation between these two keyframes. So select this keyframe, right click, and select hold. And before that, maybe set another one. Another keyframe, right click, put that on hold as well. And in the next keyframe, oh no, the first keyframe should be uh, set to zero. And now when you look at it, it will just, uh, just pop up at that point in time, which is exactly what we want. And of course, since we want to create a Luma mat, it, it has to be black and white. So create another rectangular shape um hold down the control key snap the anchor point into place and then uh, just center that to the canvas and then set the fill color to black and now set the scale all the way up to 700 so it covers the whole canvas and then drag it underneath the other mats. And now you can see that we are getting our mat. So what do we have so far? It pops up. This one is right, is there at the beginning already. And then uh, we will have mat one, mat two. Just uh, go to that keyframe and then another five, six frames into two, three, four, five into uh, the transition. We will duplicate this one one more time rename it to mat three it looks like in the video it was uh, maybe located around here 
Uh, maybe you want to reposition this other mat a little more to the right, and then this third mat has a little more real estate to fill up maybe around here, and then go into the effect settings, and then in the opacity, since we duplicated it, these uh, keyframes exist already, just delete them. The stopwatch is active, so set another keyframe, right-click that keyframe, select hold, and then before that, set the opacity to zero, so that one just pops up, and when we scrub through it in the timeline, you can see mat one, mat two, mat three, okay? That's basically what's happening in that transition in the music video. The last thing, we want to animate the position and the scale of this third mat to exactly recreate the transition in the music video. So in another five frames in, two, three, four, five. Um, of course, we, we, we will have to set, activate the stopwatch for position and horizontal scale for this mat, this specific mat. Right click, select these keyframes, right click and under temporal interpolation, set it to hold. Because again, we don't want no um, interpolation between these keyframes. Drag these over. I mean, it's popping up. Drag these keyframes over and then one, two, three, four, five. Here we want to, you can drag it here, right in uh, the effect control settings right here. The horizontal scale should be a little smaller. Maybe like this. Set it to 120. And um, I think it should be sitting right in the middle. In the music video, it's actually uh, it depends on the footage that you have, but it's sitting right on top of the artist. So something like this. And now um, let's scrub through the timeline one more time. So we're going in, mat one, mat two, mat three, mat three reposition. That's exactly what we want. Okay. Okay. So we have our Luma mat in place now. And the last thing that you uh, have to do is activate your upper clip and go to effects, apply the track mat effect like this. And then in the effect controls, set the mat to video three, because that's where our Luma mat is sitting, uh, sitting on. And at first nothing's happening, but you have, uh, you need to set the composite to mat Luma. And now you can see what's going on. It's, it's using the Luma value, the, the white value of our mat as the key to reveal our layer. Okay. And that's basically how it's done. But now, um, two more things that we need to do when we're sitting on these, on this third keyframe. Um, when you look at the music video, um, there's some scaling going on within like three, four keyframes. Since we want this effect to be, um, applicable to other, um, clips that we have. We just um, create a, an adjustment layer and put that adjustment layer on top of your everything and then go to effects and apply transform. And what this does when it's applied to an uh, adjustment layer, it will scale everything underneath this adjustment layer. And then in the effect controls, um, set the stopwatch to on scale, select the keyframe, right click, set it to hold because we don't want now again, no interpolation between these keyframes. Set the scale to 150. And as you can see already, it's scaling the whole footage. And let's see if it's on the right position. Let's select the adjustment layer and then three frames in, or maybe five, one, two, three, four, five, set it to back to 100. Or you know what, let's um, do another step in between and then set it to 100. So we are, we have 150, next keyframe 120, 
maybe half, half and then 100%, okay? And here, actually, we want to lose that track mat effect. So with the razor tool, just cut this upper key, uh, upper clip and then remove the track mat key. And of course, the luma mat has to go as well. And then we got our transition just like N. Oh, we um, have to do one more thing because this scaling is actually scaling everything before that effect. So we want to go in and set that, set another keyframe to 100 and then set that to hold. And then it will just have this short glitch where it's scaling everything. And now you can actually apply your, as we've seen in, uh, in the introduction, you can apply your, your color correction. And that's basically it. When you, when you render this, it looks just like the transition in, uh, that music video. Very simple. Of course, you could now go in. If you have other clips, um, you can just drag these assets over these clips. Just put it into the right position and then uh, select that upper clip and apply the track mat effect to that, to that upper clip. And then um, select the luma mat on uh, track three and set, set it to matte luma and it looks exactly like the other transition. So this way, when you do it this way, you can apply this transition to other clips and reuse them. Just put your color correction on top of it and it looks um, just like the first tra transition that you had just created. And when you render this, it looks exactly like in the music video. Of course, it depends on your footage and the music video. There's, there's, it's much more dynamic. There's a much, much more movement and motion, but that's basically how to, how this transition is being done in Premiere Pro. If you like this video, please, please give me a thumbs up. The, don't forget to subscribe to not miss any future tutorials and freebies. And yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.